What's going on, everybody? Everybody, yeah. It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you see by the title below, we're going to go over five signs, five reasons, five things, whatever you want to call it, that, uh, hey, but signs that he's not coming back, okay? Signs that he left you in the dust. Beep, beep. He's gone, okay? Signs you are out, gone. You might as well move on. Don't worry about it. Let go of hope. It's only going to screw you over, okay? He's uh he's gone, okay? There's nothing you can really do. So jumping right into it, we're going to get into number one. I think it's the most obvious one, but I think it needs to be said. I'm going to tell you why, okay? It's the fact that he has not came back. And I don't mean this to insult anyone because, I, I believe me, I was there waiting for seven months for someone, okay? So I'm not, like, insulting you. I, I've been there. But I have people who would write me some some classified emails. They'll write me some emails. Well, not really, you know, classified. But they'll say, hey, you know, my, I've been talking to this guy for a while. Da, 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 da. He's, you know, long story short, you know, they had something going. Now he's gone. And then I ask, when's the last time? You know, they're like, what should I do? And then I ask, when's the last time they talked to him? And they said, about you know, a month and a half, two months ago. And I'm thinking, w you move on. That's what you do. You you move on. Like there's nothing you can do. Why would you why would you sit around and wait for a guy for for two months? I mean, probably the same reason I waited around for a girl for seven months, but like no, nah, I mean just take it from me. Don't do it. There's a lot of there's plenty of uh great people out there. Don't focus on this one person. They are not worth it, okay? Seriously. So if he has not came back within Actually, no, if he, I have a personal thing. If you watch my older videos, like my really old videos, and you watch my things now, you're gonna sign, uh, you're gonna see me kind of change. But for the most part, I'm one of those people like, if you leave me, dude, or, or girl, whatever, you know, you're out. You're out. I don't give, I don't give a shit. Cause I take it very, uh, personal when you drop me or you leave. Now I've been in a relationship forever. But if you were to leave me or something like that, I take it very, that, sh that tells me, like you don't not not just respect, but you don't believe in me. You don't have faith in me. You don't think I can do what I'm capable to do in my part of this relationship. So you're gonna learn the hard way, and I'm gonna go do my thing, and you're gonna regret it. Okay, that's personally my opinion, but whatever. Number two, I say it all the time. It's the me mindset. If he was in the relationship and it was very me 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 me, it was very sexual. If it was you know just anything like that, then. It's not going to work out. That I, I'm not going to go into this one because that's pretty much uh, as obvious. Like you know how a mean mindset is. You all face. I see in the comments below. You all talk about the mean mindset. A lot of guys are in. You know, if even if he's me or good in the beginning, then he starts getting selfish at the end. That kind of tells me that his this his intentions in general were me okay guys you guys can only hide the bullshit for so long and what you're seeing in the second half is just true color so a lot of women say but he was so nice so sweet so good he was chasing me he was this in the beginning okay great that okay that was him in that moment now we're talking about now though okay you got to take it all as a whole you can't take what you like and what you don't like cut it up and then there's your guy you know no that's not how it works okay you gotta look at it a whole that's him as a person so if he's like that at the end then guess what that's how he is the third thing I would say is he's pulling away over time. I know a lot of guys who, again, first half he's great, he's real physical, he's all in your face, he wants to say, he says this, he says that, but then the second half he starts pulling away. Now, if that's the case, again, if a guy's pulling away the second half, I just spit there, what the hell? If, if a guy's pulling away the second half, just, I, I, I use the same rules as if a guy breaks up with you. It's not like he just wakes up one day and says, you know what, I'm done with you. I'm going to break up with you. That doesn't happen. I'm not, well, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but for 99% of the time, when a guy or a girl breaks up with someone, things have been going wrong several weeks, you know, prior, several, you know, just a while prior to the actual breakup. So if he's slowly pulling away, then he was thinking about those things in his head prior to actually breaking up with you which goes on to my number four thing is he makes a bullshit excuse if he has a bullshit excuse on why he pulls away i'm busy i, I got so much work i work two jobs 16 hours i don't know why you're dating a nasally dweeb like that but i i don't i don't i don't i, I don't deserve i don't deserve you're too good for me you're you're amazing i don't know if a guy ever says that then say you're right and then dump him okay that's a low ego that's a that is a low ego man but from an insecure standpoint if a guy makes i said it in my last video and 100 videos before it 
priorities. It comes down to priorities. If a guy's making a bullshit excuse not to date you, it's a uh, uh, hey, excuses are like assholes. Everyone has one. He he's just trying to find a way out. Okay, and he will. And it's, it's basically the easy way to let you out. He's basically saying he's basically take you know taking the blame. Because he can take the blame. He don't give a shit. If, as long as he's not hurting you and causing confrontation, drama, you know, or he's being accountable for anything, he'll tell you whatever you want to hear to pull away. So he's gonna make some, uh, some bullshit excuse. Okay, so don't don't fall for it. If he's making an excuse when he pulled out, then he just he just doesn't want to have anything to do with you. And finally, number five. There's another woman in the picture. If a guy leaves you for another woman. He is not coming back. If he does, he's an orbiter. He's using you, and he wants you know he wants to get the goods in. I promise you, he is not coming back because he's you know what women typically tell me are, or, and what I typically told, what I typically told a woman uh, back in the day. You know, oh you're amazing. You're uh, you're you're uh, I I can't you know I, you're so you're so awesome. I can't believe that I even thought of leaving you. You're, you know, I realized how great you were after I left and how I made such a stupid mistake. Please take me back. Blah, 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 man. Like I said, again, I say this all the time. Like I said in my last video, guys are going to bullshit you. He will feed you any line he can because he knows women are emotional by heart. That's their nature. They're emotional. So the easiest way is, hey, it's through your ears, right? He's going to tell you, he's going to whisper that, that beautiful shit in your ear. Hey, girl. <laughs> he's gonna tell you whatever the hell you want to hear and you fall for it which i don't blame you for falling for it because you like the guy you know i mean you have a you have a justified bias you're, you're trying to justify because you like him you're trying to justify oh he likes me too this is all great i don't blame you but listen I, i'm your logic I'm the, I'm, I'm the logic on your shoulder man don't fall for it he's bullshitting you if a guy leaves you for another girl he's going to do it again and he's going to do it again and he's going to do it to her so don't even date a guy like that okay with that being said there's my five things. I love you, ladies. Take care. Don't fall for the bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Peace.